Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And in today's brief video, I want to take some time and talk about some of the literature surrounding CBD and whether or not it can be an effective tool in helping people who are quitting nicotine products. So if you're trying to quit vaping, if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're trying to quit chewing tobacco, the question is... Is CBD worth your time? Is CBD worth consuming? Before I dive into this, I want to make a disclaimer. This isn't medical advice. It's not, you know, meant to be taken in that manner. And the product, the CBD product that I'm going to reference in the description below, I do have an affiliation with that company. So I want you guys to be aware of those things before we jump into it. All right, so let's start by just really quickly clarifying what CBD is. So In order to understand that, you have to understand this. Your body has something called an endocannabinoid system, and your body makes its own cannabinoids, such as THC and CBD, except in your body they're called something else. And the system regulates sleep, it regulates appetite, it regulates mood, it regulates bone production, it regulates a whole host of things, okay? Now, when you consume a marijuana product or a hemp product, you're consuming what are considered phytocannabinoids. These are cannabinoids found within the cannabis plant, THC, CBD, and there's about 109 other ones as far as I recall found inside the cannabis plant, okay? So when you have a plant that contains THC, that's considered a marijuana plant. When you have a plant that has zero. 0.03% or less THC in it, that's considered a CBD plant. So the question becomes, okay, if we take a CBD product, does that product help with nicotine withdrawal or quitting smoking? Well, it's interesting. Back in 2013, a study was carried out of 24 people, and these people were addicted to smoking. They were addicted to tobacco products, and they were provided an inhaler with CBD in it. And what this study concluded was that the people utilizing the inhaler as utilizing the inhaler compared to the placebo group consumed 40% less tobacco products than the people who got the placebo. So this study didn't say anything about does CBD help with the withdrawal symptoms, does it help with the cravings. All the study concluded was that these individuals consumed 40% less tobacco products than people who didn't use a CBD inhaler. So this is super promising, especially going back in 2013 when cannabis literature was pretty restricted because of federal regulations. Um, this is a this is a pretty exciting exciting thing. The people in this study said that they just simply weren't finding as much pleasure in consuming the tobacco products as they once were once they started to uh, consume CBD through this inhaler. Now, mind you, this was over the course of one week, so this wasn't really a super long-term study, so that's a big limiting factor, but exciting nonetheless. Now, in 2018, a study was carried out once again where people were given a single oral dose of 800 milligrams of CBD. And let me be clear, those of you guys buying like CBD oil tinctures, like we're going to talk about that say a thousand milligrams on the bottle, that means the entire bottle has a thousand milligrams of CBD in it, right? Not, not per dose. So they gave people almost an entire, what I would imagine to be an entire tincture or a monster capsule of CBD to give them an 800 milligram dose. And what they found with these people was they reported that while watching other people smoke, they didn't have the desire to smoke as much. They said that stimuli that normally would trigger or cue them to smoke was no longer that stimulating. So these people in these 2018 studies said, yeah, it looks like CBD helped them avoid cues. It helped them avoid triggers. For some reason, it made smoking appear to be a lot less satisfying. And this is fascinating because in my journey of quitting nicotine products, I can say there was a period of time where, and I can say that it was 
a very long period of time where CBD played a pretty crucial role, I think, in the success of my recovery from nicotine products. So, and I kind of understood that. It was weird too. When I was quitting, I remember thinking to myself, what is CBD doing that I just don't seem as interested anymore in the chewing tobacco and vaping and all that stuff. It was it was odd. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I could relate to that study. Um, now, that's super exciting, especially when a lot of you guys watching my videos are asking yourselves, well, Dr. Frank, I'm constantly surrounded by peer pressure. I'm constantly surrounded by family members who vape, family members who smoke. A lot of people at my job vape. A lot of people at my job smoke. Based on this 2018 study, Nah, I don't know. That might maybe there's some value to using CBD when it comes to managing the stimuli that you get from a situation in which you're experiencing peer pressure or in which you're getting cues or triggers or cravings, things that make you crave um, triggers, I should say, or cues that make you crave nicotine. Maybe CBD would help. Um, now, another really important thing. These studies didn't specifically say that CBD reduced cravings or eased withdrawal symptoms, but I do want to touch on that a bit. So nicotine withdrawal is an extremely common reason for relapse, and I, in my professional opinion, I believe CBD stands to help, and I can't wait to see a study on this. One of the most common reasons for nicotine withdrawal that people report is anxiety. They get an anxiety from quitting and anxiety from stopping. And CBD has been shown to be a pretty good anti-anxiety. It supports a healthy stress response. Again, we don't want to make any claims about CBD that it cures anxiety or anything like that, but it, it, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence and a lot of people saying, hey, CBD really is helping me with my stress. It's really helping me with my anxiety. It's promoting a healthy stress response. And I think that would be a really good thing, especially for those first few days of acute nicotine withdrawal or of, uh, you know, when you're just feeling when your mood is all thrown off. A lot of people also report that CBD helps a lot with sleep. I know when it comes to nicotine withdrawal, the insomnia that you go through is a really, really challenging thing for a lot of people. And when you when you're not sleeping, when you're sleep deprived, you have a decrease in your prefrontal cortex function, which is very, very similar to the decrease that you have when you're intoxicated. So insomnia um, combined with anxiety can often result in a relapse. So it's interesting if CBD helps with insomnia, potentially, CBD potentially helps with anxiety and it helps with mood, depression, people say. Could that be a good option or something to incorporate in the first, you know, few weeks of uh, going through nicotine withdrawal or quitting nicotine? Um, I think that would be a safe thing to argue. Some other things, too, that I like to talk about. Some people do notice a spike in blood pressure when they first quit using nicotine. Um, is this due to increased stress? Is this due to some other physiological changes in the body? There have been reports of CBD having a positive impact on cardiac health, so perhaps there would be some benefit there. And of course, CBD as a strong anti-inflammatory. Um, remember, if your body has become accustomed to consuming nicotine constantly, even though nicotine is an inflammatory thing, when you quit, your body is initially going to be under a state of stress because you, you did take something away that your body is used to having. And inflammation may result from that. There are some studies that would imply that. So temporarily, very temporarily. But could CBD be beneficial in that regard as an antioxidant, as an anti-inflammatory? Uh, I think there's a lot of potential there. We've also seen studies, and I'm not going to go into those on this, but where CBD might be beneficial when it comes to cocaine uh, usage and getting sober from cocaine and opioids and getting sober from opioids, um, right? Things that cause massive amounts of dopamine release in our body. So it's interesting because we know nicotine has an impact on dopamine. And if we're seeing positives when it comes to using CBD for people who are going through uh, opioid recovery and um, cocaine recovery, 
perhaps uh, perhaps there's a similar mechanism of action here with CBD. So you, you take all of those things into consideration, the fact that it's probably gonna help with some of those withdrawal symptoms, maybe. The fact that we got these two studies from 2013 and 2018, yeah, I think it's not a bad idea. Now the question becomes, what type of CBD is it that you're gonna utilize? Well, guys, in the description below, I put the link to the company that we work with, CBD BioCare, it has the third-party testing. They pull it from medicinal grade hemp, Charlotte's Web and ACDC. It's just a really, it's, it's a really, really good product. But the question becomes, what dosage should you utilize? Um, I usually recommend starting either with the gummies or the oil tinctures. Now the advantage to the oils is you can modify your dosage of CBD a lot easier. Um, I usually tell people to start off with between 10 and 20 milligrams a day, and then in increasing that to 30 to 40 milligrams a day as needed somewhere in the first two weeks. Um, I usually start people off with the 1,000 milligram tincture, or we recommend getting the gummies, which is just one gummy a day in the mornings is usually when I recommend taking it. Uh, if you are taking the oil, you can split your dose. You could do maybe 10 milligrams in the morning, 10 milligrams in the afternoon, or 20 milligrams in the afternoon, and then 10 milligrams prior to bedtime. Um, when it comes to dosage on CBD and all that and how to use it, I'll make more videos on that for you guys, but this is just some of the basics. And to be honest, if you do wind up purchasing, um, I'm happy to do a, a five to 10 minute phone call with you to walk you through some of the basics of utilizing it. Just text or call the offices. I put the number below for you guys here to our addiction mindset offices. So those would be my recommendations. Like I said, in these studies, they were using much higher levels of CBD. I don't think that's necessary. Based on what I see with my clients, I don't think that's necessary. And guys, we have had success here with people using CBD to help them quitting addiction. So I am a fan. You just got to make sure you have the what right the right product, the uh, the correct product. Now, one thing that I will say, I don't recommend using THC to quit nicotine. Um, a lot of times what I would see happen is people would stop using nicotine and start using THC, and then the THC just starts to eventually become an addiction. Um, maybe some people don't care about that, and that's okay if that's you, but remember, a lot of the literature out there is focused on the benefits of the CBD, not so much the CBD, or uh, the benefits of the CBD, not so much the THC. So guys, I hope this video cleared some things up for you. Again, be sure to check out the CBD BioCare website in the description below. If you do wind up purchasing a product, send me an email, I'll put my email right below and I'll be sure to be in touch with you to walk you through how to utilize it. I hope this video helps. Guys, follow me into the next video where I talk about the number one way to quit vaping and quit using nicotine forever. I'll see you guys in the next video.